Just off Highway 10 stands the small town of Royalton, which once had a very big past. Yeah, we had a sawmill, we had a flour mill in, in the beginning. We were huge. The town's history can now be found inside City Hall, which houses their local museum. Barb Gangle is a local historian. She says the museum started in the 1950s with the help of a small fire truck. So a doctor will buy it and leaves it sit outside and it's getting bad and he will sell it to a farmer. And the farmer will use it to water his crops. He planted a bunch of trees. Then the museum gets built. Doc goes back out there, hands him the money. I want my truck back. You can't have it. I'm using it. No, 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 you don't understand. I need it back. And it goes back and forth. It goes on for months. The town gets in a rile with the farmer. And eventually, doctor pays twice what he paid for it, gave the farmer to get it back, just so he could put it in the museum. From there, Gengel says photos, artifacts, and more began to fly in. Then, of course, all the photographs start coming. The school memorabilia started coming. Um, people, stuff in that showcases from the hotels we had. Now the stories of the past can be heard on the museum walls. She says there are many stories of Royalton residents who've played critical roles throughout central Minnesota. The Dezurics have were starting up their um, bolt valves. Valves, thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And they were stuck couldn't quite get it. Came to Ed, who was the tinkerer, problem solver, and said, Ed, what are we doing wrong? Hmm. Do this, do that. It worked, it got patented, it made money. They come back to Ed, Ed, you, you need to get your name on this, you gotta get the money. Oh no, that's what friends are for. No, no, Ed, you don't understand. I'm gonna build a factory. I'm going to, no, that's okay. Gengel says the museum continues to be a popular place to visit, especially to gather family history. She says they are even working on collecting current history to preserve for a future generation. All our parades, um, new buildings going up, the new houses going up, uh, the, the water splash park. the splash park going up, the new water tower that went up. That I've got that documented. Right. The school being built, I've got that documented. Mm -hmm. Your splash park, you gave me a big scrapbook for the splash park. Mm -hmm. All of that. Uh, there's right. photographs and write-ups for all of that just tucked away for the next generation. The Royalton Museum is open on the first Saturday of each month from 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. With videographer Sarah Mueller, I'm Alex Wykowski, WJON.